Here we go, back again with another video, and yes, tonight's video is to do with transfer news. There's a new player signed. The deal has been done. But before we get into that, I want to say a big thank you, big well done to Edward Charlton. Got the double correct score of Middlesbrough, nil Sunderland 2, and Fulham 1, Sunderland 1, double whammy correct score. He has won the England shirt, unless someone else comes out of the woodwork. In the meantime, and I've missed them off, and they got both correct scores. So at this moment in time, well done, Edward Charlton Touchwood. You are the winner. But yes, there was a new player signed on the dotted line. And it will be announced tomorrow after his medical, just exactly the same as Joe Gelhard. It is, of course, Joe Anderson from Everton. Now, who is Joe Anderson, I hear you asking? Get the load down on Joe Anderson as he closes in on the Sunderland move. Well, it's signed. He's signed. It's done. Dealed. Signed, sealed and delivered. I'm yours, oh baby. Right, so, as exclusively revealed by Sunderland Nation, the 21-year-old defender in this advanced talks reassides this month. The deal will follow the recent pattern of Sunderland targeting players in established academies, yet still just one level below the Premier League breakthrough. That means that, as is often the case with Sunderland signings, he is a player with whom fans will be unfamiliar. Who is Joe Anderson? Joe Anderson has been at Everton Academy since he was 15 and he signed two professional deals in that time. He is a left-footed and can also cover at left back and is required. He is the captain of Everton's under-21s, centre-back. The most recent contract extension Anderson signed was only last summer, which, show, which shows Everton sees some real potential in him. At the time of that extension, Everton Director of Football, Kevin Thurwell, said Joe has been with us since the age of 15. His attitude and progression in that time has been very impressive. We are very clear, we have a very clear plan for Joe to continue his development with us and look forward to helping him fulfil his potential. Anderson has yet to make his first team appearance in his career, but he has trained regularly with the Everton senior squad over the years. Joe Anderson's style of play. Anderson is very comfortable on the ball with his left foot, sufficiently so that Everton originally signed him as a midfielder. A growth spurt saw him develop in height, six foot tall now, to play at centre back, though, and Everton decided that's where he would stay in the future. The decision was heavily influenced by former Everton and England defender David Unsworth, who saw a lot of himself in Anderson. As such, as he developed into something of a ball-playing centre-back who is happy to pass the ball out of the back. <clears throat> With every training session and every game, I feel I'm improving defensive side of my game, Anderson said. On the ball, I know I can play. I've worked hard on getting very defensively. Unzi has helped me a lot in the training areas like my p positional play and dealing with crosses. When we, can, when we can, he encourages us a lot to play out too. We do work on it a lot in training and we've been working on the team shape. When I'm on the ball, the first thing I look, do I look up for people further up the pitch? And if it's not on, then I'll play to our midfield out wide. There are some games when you'd love to play out, and sometimes it's not. You have to adapt. So there we go. That's Joe Anderson. He's signed, sealed, and he's delivered to Sunderland, and he's our newest signing now. It will be announced tomorrow after his medical. And who else do we bring in? I want to say a big welcome to Joe Anderson. I hope you have a, hope you flourish. I do want to keep, though, Bailey Wright at the club. I don't want to see Bailey Wright leave. I don't want to see anybody else leave the club. I don't. Because we are like sort of had one or two injuries. I want to see players coming in. I want Ellis Sims to return to Sunderland. We desperately need a striker. With Ross Stewart's Achilles injury, it could be out for a very, very long term. Very, very long time. And it could even affect next season. It really is such a shame. I'm 
absolutely gutted for Ross Stewart. Absolutely gutted. I was devastated on Saturday. The lad's been injured, back scoring goals, injured, just, oh, just no luck whatsoever. But do we get Ella Sims in? Do we bring somebody else in? Do we need a centre of midfielder in? How many more bodies can Christian Speakman get over the line before the transfer deadline ends tomorrow at 11 o'clock? We need 100% at least one striker, another centre of midfielder. And you know, if we get those two bodies in, I'd be quite happy with the transfer window. It'd be a very good transfer window. We have faith in what Speakman's doing, KLD's doing, the youngsters. We saw how absolutely amazing they were against Fulham at the weekend. We looked like the Premier League side. At times, Fulham shite themselves. They shit themselves. They really did. Anyway, Sunderland, if we do beat Fulham at home next Tuesday, it's a possibility we could play Leeds in the fifth round of the FA Cup. Leeds, 50 years since we beat Leeds in 1973, when we were the championship side, they were the Premier League side, and it is exactly the same. I know it's League 1 and 2 then, but exactly the same. But it's 50 years on. Can we, is it written in the stars? Are we going to actually make it all the way to Wembley again? It's a long, long way to go. Fulham <clears throat> will be such a difficult game, and I ain't counting me chickens before the hatch. No way, Jose. Hopefully I'll be going to that match next week. Also... Sunderland under 21s, beating Newcastle under 21s. Luke won 9 played today, full 90 minutes in that game. And Jusen Benete scored an equalising goal before he went on to win 2 1. So well done to the youngsters. Well done to the youngsters. Chris Rigg played a full 90 minutes, I think, as well in that game. So well done to the youngsters. And also, I'm looking forward tomorrow to see who we get in. And at the end of the day, like I said before, we need two people in. I've reached the hell. I've had three coughs this year. I get rid of them and the bloody come back. Anyway, I have reached 16,000 subscribers, but it's dropped back down to 15,999. Then it went back up to 16,000 subscribers, and now it's dropped back down to 15,99. So, what I want to do is that, you know, I appreciate everybody has input in this channel. I appreciate every, I mean, I don't even know why, I don't even know why you watch me. I don't even know. I mean, look at this. Look at the state of us. Why would you watch this old man? I just, I just, I talk shit half of the time. I can't even talk properly the other half of the time. I'm always shouting on getting upset on my live streams. I mean, why do you put up with us? I don't even know. But at the end of the day, I appreciate you all watching the channel. And you know what it is? I will take my hat off to you. There you go. For watching the channel. And, and, and to everybody who, you know, goes on the comments, leaves comments. Leaves us the, the likes and whatever it is. I appreciate it all. Thank you. And those people out there who don't have accounts, who watch the channel, I appreciate you too. Don't have to be a subscriber. I appreciate this all. But thank you very much to subscribing to the channel. Thanks for the moderators on the, on the live streams. Thank you to everybody who supports this channel. If it wasn't for yous, I'd get locked up in a straight jacket talking to myself all day. There you go. I, I, I might, I might, let me know. Do you want me to do a song? I did that song ages ago. I will walk 500 miles. I can adapt it to 16,000 subs. I can put it on a short video up there. And do you want me? Let me know. Let me in the comments. Or do you just not want me to sing? Anyway, I've got a couple of bloopers at the end. Because... I do make a pig's ass of some of these videos. I <laughs> take care, God bless and don't, don't forget to subscribe. If you are new, if you're this fine, you are new, subscribe, and we'll see you tomorrow for some more transfer news. Well, he fucking hell, man. I hear you seeing. Fucking twat. The hell, man. Well done to Edward Charlton. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, not cold again, man. <laughs> oh.